How's it world? My name is Torsten Kremser. I'm Nicola Jackman. And we're coming to you here on the International Day of Peace 2020 from beautiful South Africa. I'm in this moment feeling a great amount of awe. I can hear the birds around me, the ocean in the distance. And I just feel that right now in our world, we really are at a crossroads. And it's an old story for us to be painful and, and in conflict and alone and separate. And, and I feel like COVID has kind of shifted everything for us to just help us see that we really can do this together. We can co-create world peace even by 2030. And for us, like for, we'd asked you, we asked us the question, like how can we optimize our time to really reach the most amount of people out there to further this movement and this cause of world peace. And our solution, our dream really was to create a reality TV show, reaching people through their screens. And that is what we've created. Yeah, so actually we, we thought what a wonderful opportunity to share with you this brand new real TV show. We even said real TV because this is a new reel that we're co-creating. So ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. We're going to take you on a little journey into our extended trailer of... Thrivers Season 1. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome to Thrivers. Eight Thrivers from all different walks of life have been chosen to spend 21 days together doing all the good they can in a small community. During these 21 days, there are no eliminations and no prizes to be won. Sleeping in tents and required to live a plant-based lifestyle, our Thrivers have 21 days to complete four critical tasks. The symbol of hope to co-create a visual art piece with a community that will symbolize love and hope long after they're gone. The good doers, individuals within the community who've selflessly dedicated their lives to help the people around them. Our thrivers must help realize the dreams of the community's unsung heroes during their short stay. Outreach, to bring upliftment and joy to schools, youth centers, and community groups within the town, showcasing the possibilities the future holds when we co-create it together. The greatest show for Earth, to put on a concert of, by, and for the people within the community, showcasing the amazing local talent and highlighting a sense of identity and purpose. Eight passionate thrivers must work closely together, making peace with each other and within themselves to accomplish these four ambitious tasks. But real change is hard won. Most of us in the camp are meat eaters. I'm tired. I am finished. My energy that I had on the first day is taken away from me. When I was 14 years old, I was gang raped. I kept it a secret for about 14 years. But I refuse to be part of the process that whitewashes the experience. There was a lot of untruths. There was a lot of egos. Which I felt was very disrespectful. Now I know who to trust and who not to trust. So much work that needed to be done in 21 days, the time was not enough. Self-discovery is a hard journey. Change is not easy. But the rewards are great. Hope. Empowerment. 
passion, healing, friendships, joy, love. Bear witness to this bold, unscripted human experiment. Join us in the heart of Africa's people as we showcase humanity's new story, a cinematic journey that builds hope locally and inspires a Thrive movement globally. We have to work as a unity. Who am I to charge? Let's make things happen. Thrivers, 21 days, from survivor to thriver. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this sneak peek of season one. And yeah, guys, this is really our little way to bring a core methodology to the world, which we call win-win-wins, where we assure that everyone wins at the same time. I mean, basically the way that it works is you could just use win-win-wins as a checklist. We say that this is a way that we will all thrive, that we'll have a peace-loving world if we can live in this win-win-wins way, which is essentially I win while I support others to win and the world to win at the same time. Yeah, an example. An example of a win-win-wins would be um, coming to a beautiful place like this that is actually like an eco lodge. So I win because I'm in a beautiful space. The, this lodge wins and the community wins because I'm spending my finances here and the world wins because this place is actually taking care of the environment. So we, we really are at such an exciting time in the world right now because we know that we're creating a new narrative. We're co-creating a new story. And we like to say that it's kind of moving beyond the survival story. We all have a survival story. And it's time for us to actually really start co-creating that new thrival story. Um, and, and we have managed to reach some of our season one thrivers to encourage them here in South Africa to just take their phones and send a little message to you as well. And so... And as you've seen in the, in the extended trailer and the sneak peek, the method, like the, the description or like how what we call a thriver actually is, is a person who lives in that win-win-win way. So we're quite excited that we found some extraordinary humans and there's plenty of those out there. Yes. People like you that are watching this right now that are already living in this win-win-win way and our role with this TV series is really to show the world that this already exists and that there are so many people that are doing, living in that way already and furthering that course and we, like, we strongly believe that if we all would live in a win-win-win way, then there would be world peace by default. Absolutely, and, and if we have this 10-year trajectory that we're all so solidly working towards, then what a beautiful time for us to also just keep uniting. And I just, I thank all of your organizations out there and the individuals out there that are working so tirelessly in your individual ways to to make that tidal wave of world peace and the birds are in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> so here you are, here you got it. The uh, Thrivers from season one left us some messages also for world peace and we're gonna just tune in to that now. We asked them the question, um, what do you think would bring more peace to the world? So here we go. My name is Peter Tokilo. I'm the chief of the Hesqua tribe in Beridil. Uh, we are in South, in South Africa, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place in is, is Berida. Uh, we have started here in Berida a group called Eco Warriors uh, by teaching these young people how to take care of Mother Nature. Mother Nature, we taught the kids to, to, to clear up the, the, the rivers, to, take, to get rid of all the pollution, all the plastics in the river, so, so that we can give the, the fish and all the other animals an opportunity to live in harmony with, with, with the Khoi people. I am Dr. Shamila Ramdran from Johannesburg, South Africa. A business management lecturer at the University of South Africa, Mrs. Johannesburg 2019, a global award-winning entrepreneur, difference maker, as well as a player part ambassador for Brand South Africa. As an advocate for change, I stand for world peace. I believe we can create peace by bringing true equality between women and men, 
by creating a world where people and the planet can flourish. Together, we can bring about change with the ideal of freedom, peace and happiness, creating a win-win-wins for all. Happy World Peace Day 2020. Hi, my name is Marshall Arinquist. I am in Creighton, South Africa. I am a stand for world peace. I believe we can create peace and love through respecting each other's ways and lifestyle, working together with um, communities and helping each other wherever we can. Respect, love and harmony. This is Marshall Rinquist, Creighton, South Africa. Peace out. I am a stand for world peace. We can only create peace if we can unite and make sure that we are helping those people who can't help themselves, especially those who are not educated. Let us be able to help and create some love. I win, you win, we all win. Win, win, wins. South African, South Africa, all over the world. One love, Mandy Sisindo. Hello, my name is Gillian Lambert and I am in Cape Town, South Africa and I stand for world peace. I believe that if each and every one of us takes a moment to pause between our words and our thoughts and takes a moment to think what it would be like to be in someone else's shoes and takes a moment to really trust that vulnerability and authenticity in our heart in any given moment, we can create world peace. Moment by moment, thought by thought, and action by action. Hi, I'm Jasmine Gerke from Montreal, Canada, and I believe in world peace. I believe that harmony, love, and supporting each other in a community and as humans will create peace in this world and we all have a responsibility to take a stand to create this lifestyle. I want to send you all love and as a global citizen can encourage you to continue to use your power within yourself to create a harmonious peaceful life. Hi my name is Manisha and I am in East London South Africa I am standing for world peace and I really believe we have to be working at grassroots level to, so, to help um, bring about peace globally and um, if we believe that the whole world is in us and we are the whole world then the change really needs to begin with each of us and every person that we come in contact with if we can leave them just 1% better, wouldn't the world be a better place? So that is my mission is um, just to affect millions of mindsets positively by living my inspired life. And um, the optimum situation would be um, if I am winning, if the world is winning, then we're all winning. And that's what we want. So. Here's to world peace. So welcome back. <laughs> um, as you can see, those were some of our season one thrivers and remarkable individuals just doing the most beautiful work in a win-win-win way. Absolutely, yeah. So we're very, very grateful to have had them in our first season. And we're really looking forward to highlight more and more people out there, more and more thrivers. Um, so that the world can actually see how many of you are already doing this kind of work. So our vision with this Real TV series is to bring it to all the different places in the world, to Europe, to US, to UK, to Australia, whatever, um, and have this kind of thing going. In this wonderful peace-creating form, we're engaged in a way where I am so motivated to simultaneously make a difference for myself, to give myself the experience of winning while I support others to experience that win feeling 
and then ultimately our world is going to win too if we're working in a way that we're not denying that the world is part of that process and I know there's many globally they say things like people profit planet you know it's like it's not mm. one without the other we we are in that trajectory what we just want to do is put a spotlight onto it yeah, and really because people are spending so much time on the screens at the moment and entertainment is a proven way to really instill new methodologies and like using really entertainment as an educating platform, um, we, really, we really see this as a, yeah, like as a powerful way to bring the message across and show people a new way and tools to get there. Because there's, in, in this show, as the thrivers having to work together, their own stuff shows up, their own ego shows up, and they have to work through those things, just like we have to work through our stuff as leaders. And, and those tools then come across in that TV show and in, in an entertaining way, so people can really pick up things and learn from the thrivers. To thrive themselves. I mean, I love so much even just tuning into some of these broadcasts at the moment. We all have got very distinct puzzle pieces that we're bringing into this global perspective of world peace by 2030. And, and definitely with Thrivers, season after season and all the other uh, showcasings of it globally, it's our intention to just enthuse hope because where there's hope, there is an ignition from the masses to actually just do something. That the, we, we, often, we often talk about the remedy to apathy is hope. And so our little peace tip here for the International Day of Peace, for you, a little takeaway, the one thing for you to remember is the win, win, wins. I win while others win while the world wins. And if you use that simple checklist in your everyday decision making, then really you can't go wrong with that. <coughs> Bless you. That is Genossena Panema. You're close, Genossena Panemas. <laughs> okay, close. Sneezing on the truth. <laughs> so win, win, win. Um, and that's our, our little um, token and our blessing to all of you that may you all continue to do the phenomenal work that you're doing for World Peace by 2030. And, and yeah, just check. Win, win, wins. <laughs> Am I winning? Are others winning? And is the world winning simultaneously? Lots of love from South Africa. Yes. Enjoy this beautiful day. Share Lots the peace. Love. Big love. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>